sis, sis, don't do it. Just don't do it. What's up, family? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Curly Chris. And uh, in today's video, we're trying out something new. So I ain't never seen nobody do. I have never seen these on the market. I have never seen these anywhere. This is my first time seeing these types of things I'm going to show y'all today. But before we go ahead and jump into all those details, whoa, um, if you ain't part of the family, if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button down below. I need you to smash it. Smash the button, okay? Turn the notifications on as well while you're down there. Kill two birds with one stone. Go ahead and join the Curly Chris fam because we need you here. Okay? Um, so I ain't even gonna stall y'all that much. I ain't even gonna waste too much time. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Um, I'm using some rods on my hair, y'all. Okay? And when I say rods, I ain't talking about flexi rods. I ain't talking about perm rods. No, 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 no. No, no, uh uh. Uh uh. We're using these spiral rods, y'all. Look at these. I have never seen this before. I have never seen this before, ever. I saw this in my beauty supply store, $3.99 a pack, and I was like, oh, I gotta have these. I have to try this on my hair, because I just wanna see what it's gonna do for my hair. On the back, it got this white mannequin with this straight hair, and look at her results though. They are popping. Look at the results right there. So, if my hair comes out like that, oh my God. We shutting the game down, okay? We shutting it down. I have to go ahead and get two packs because each pack has, um, are you going to tell me how many? I can count. Two, four, six, eight. Each pack has 10, so I have 20 of them. Hopefully that's enough for my hair because my hair is thick, okay? Um, we'll go ahead and try these and I'm, I'm excited, honestly, because I just want to see how it's going to work. You know, if it's going to work, um... And just hope I don't look crazy, but I feel like if I do them right, then it has no other option but to look right. So, we're going to see. We're going to see what we're working with. Alright, so the products that I'm using for this, I'm going to do a leave-in and then a foam. And the leave-in I'm going to do is a Kinky Cashmere leave-in conditioner. Um, I've never used it before. I bought this with my own coin. Because um, I just wanted to try a black-owned business. And I got the leave-in conditioner. And then I think I'm going to use a Nairobi Rapid Shine um, Foaming Lotion. I may use a cream. I don't know. I'm going to use a foaming lotion, I think. I'm going to see how it feels on my hair. Um, and then we gonna, and that's all I'm going to use for that. So what we are working on is freshly shampooed and conditioned hair, darling. Okay. Speaking of, I forgot my water bottle, so I got I to gotta go run and get that. So freshly washed hair and also um, we got the scissors on deck so in case we feel a single strand not cutting that right on out my head okay all right let's go ahead and get into this video after I get my water bottle all right so we're gonna start out with this section and I got some hot water yeah I really hope this come out right like I really hope this junk come out right <laughs> Because if it come out like how the lady hair was on the picture, like as defined as that, then this will be bomb, honestly. So will change the game. Alright, then we're going to go in with the leave in. Let's see what this thing right here talking about. Oh, okay. Most definitely has slipped. Since I have 20 and I have four sections, I mean I gotta use five per section. I'm gonna detangle, of course, with my comb and then with our brush. And I also got my wet line gel just to put on the ends of my hair because with this, um, I want my ends to be popping, of course, and I feel like the wet line will get my ends like very straight versus curly. So I'm gonna go with my Denman next. Just to get any other tangles out and to clump them a little bit. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my wet line gel and just apply that on the ends. 
because I wanted to really wrap around this rod. Okay, y'all. So on the rod, it has like this little clamp thing that I guess is supposed to clamp at the root of your hair. Oh my god. Oh wait, I didn't put the styling foam on my hair. Shoot. Y'all, this ain't made for black people hair, baby. This little clip ain't finna get on all this hair. Look how small this clip is. It's supposed to fit all that on my hair. I don't even know how I'm going to clip that. Girl. They didn't just clip the little mannequin hat on now. Like it was nothing. I don't think mine gonna clip like that. That just ain't gonna happen. So we're gonna have to find an alternative way to get this to fit onto my head. Then you got this little clamp that you put on it to like secure it. Oh my god. I guess like that, but my ends, my ends are still out over here. I don't think I did that right. Oh, all right. So listen, I attempted to put this one in. Y'all, this mug so loose at my root. Oh my god. Woo! Don't know how this is gonna turn out, baby. So what I'm gonna also have to do is apply that wet line all over my head, like all over the section. Because your hair has to literally be like dense. Like it has to be clumped together in order to fit on the spiral ride. Going in with the wet line. This is, oh my God, y'all. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna just twist my root. Okay, so I just twisted my root first. Now I'm gonna put the, the rod on top. I think I could actually probably fit it on here. There we go. So I got that hooked on to there. Okay, there we go. I was doing it the wrong way. Oh my god. Y'all. This ain't made for us. Period. Then this little clamp thing. Oh my god. I just pushed. Oh. Uh, I just messed up right here. What is life? I mean, it's holding on better than this thing. Cause this is just a mess. I've never had to critically think like I'm doing for this right now. I'm gonna go do this back part and I'm gonna come back in the front when y'all can see cause sis, <laughs> this finna turn into a flexi rod set real quick. Okay guys, so I am in the front and look at them how I did it. I wrapped the hair around the rod as I was, um, I kind of had to like twist it while I was doing it as well. So I'm going to just show y'all how I did that. 
with these two in the front because sis it's been a struggle okay but it hasn't been as bad as when I started because I kind of got like a technique down oh the only thing is that I'm hoping that it dries all the way and that it doesn't look weird like whenever I take them down I don't know I feel like it's gonna look kind of weird but I hope not Pretty much how I did those. Make sure that's right. So, ooh, <laughs> I guess I'm finished. I hope they come out right. So I'm gonna go sit underneath the dryer, um, probably for like three hours. I don't know um, until it's all the way dry because it's kind of thick since I like coiled it. So I'm hoping that they last. I'm mean, so hoping that, that that they dry. Um, it took me about two, two and a half hours to install these, so, whew, alright, but I'm gonna go sit in the dryer, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow, and we're gonna see what it's looking like, sis. Alright, fam, it's the next day, my hair has dried, uh, one and two fell out, <laughs> as far as I know, so, we're gonna keep rolling with the punches, um, I sat in the dryer for like three hours, and I slept in them overnight, which wasn't too bad, um, so let's see how they, I hope they dry all the way because when I woke up this morning they weren't. So I got, I need to dry for like another hour. So let's hope that they are now. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to use this um, argan oil to take it down by as I am. So let's get it. Alright, so to take down, I'm going to unhook it and then unravel. Ow! Okay, y'all, this ain't gonna work. That gel made my hair too hard. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. I can already tell. This is gonna be bad. Oh my God. I had to use the gel though in order for it to fit like on the actual ride, but it's gonna be way too crunchy. Like it's gonna, it's not gonna be right, I don't think. Uh. Oh my god. Y'all, the front is soaking wet. a fail I can already tell oh my gosh y'all this was such a bad idea I think oh uh, can you see like the white all on my hair the white looks terrible so I'm gonna like separate the twist because remember I twisted my roots I don't even think I could separate anymore maybe I can a little bit oh my god like, it's too hard to even 
try to fluff anything. And I knew that it was gonna make my hair hard, y'all. I did. But I needed that wet line in order to even get my hair on the rod. Like, y'all saw the struggle at first. My hair wasn't even going on the rod. So I needed to use the gel. You know what I'm saying? To like actually make it get on the rod. To clip. Because without it clipping, it wasn't staying in my head at all. I mean, I think the curls will be pretty. But all that flake that I think my hair is going to have will not be pretty. <laughs> Okay, even though it's still wet, the curl is still popping. This is what this side is looking like. It does not look bad at all, actually. Like, it actually looks pretty good. So, I feel like I'm kind of getting like a Bantu knot little deal. Like the Bantu knot look. Alright, I'm going to go mess with it a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to look at the final results. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and took all of them out and fluffed and separated everything. And y'all, honestly, okay, it don't look that bad. Like, there's a little bit of white here and there because of the gel. Because the gel was just like, it left like, it left like kind of like a white residue on my hair because I have to put a lot. But if you have like thinner hair or like... Um, don't mind a little white cast or whatever. Um, it goes away for sure once you take everything down, as you can see. But then this would be like a good option for you. And this reminds me of Bantu Knot Outs. I've never done one, but I've seen a lot of them. And that's what it reminds me of because you like coil the hair with the um, coil, like with the roller. So I like, so like I basically twisted my hair and finger cold it around here and that's exactly what a bantu knot is um so that's what it reminds me of so if you can't get a bantu knot out then i would try these but keep in mind that your hair has to be clumped together sis like in order for it to fit underneath this little thing right here like it ain't gonna fit and this is not a lot of space at all so your hair has to be clumped together tight so whatever gel you decide to use to do that but i do like the results honestly like they're really really cute um may, they may may even last longer since it did have um that little cast on it but the cast is pretty gone honestly like it's really soft now but it just has a little bit of white left so yeah that's my final thoughts on this look i'm gonna place um the place where I got them from in the description box below. And they may even have them on Amazon or eBay. I'm not sure. I just got them from my local beauty supply store. So, I don't know, sis. Check your beauty supply store and see if they have them as well. They're called Spiral Rollers. Um, the pack looks like Spiral Rides. This is what the pack looks like. So, screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. So, yeah. That's where I got them from. And yeah, I like how they look, honestly. So, that's that. Um, if you're a blogger or an influencer trying to try this style, sis, don't do it. Don't, just don't, don't do it, okay? Um, it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, honestly. Honestly and truly, it's a struggle. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Like, I don't know. My results are cute, but the amount of time and struggle I went through to get these results, it's just like, is it really worth this, sis? Like, is it worth it? I mean, it's cute and everything, but I don't know. What y'all think in the comment section down below? Let me know what y'all think below about this look, about this style, about these results, about these doggone rides. Like, I just want to hear what you got to say because I like the results, but the work that I had to go into getting these looks, I don't know, sis. I don't know if it was worth it. So, but thank you and all for watching this video. Um, I appreciate the support as always, and I'm going to see y'all in my next video, sis. I'm out.